Hello everyone, welcome to the series of trigonometric question. Now today's question is, let a1, a2, a3 and so on till a of n are the vertices of a regular n-sided polygon inscribed in a circle of radius capital R which is given. Now along with this one more condition is given that is a1, a2 length whole square plus a1, a3 length whole square and so on till a1, a of n. If you join the vertices, you will get a particular length square is given as 14 r square. Now using this condition, we need to determine the value of n. That is n sided polygon. So, this is our objective. So, let's start with the circle. Let's say the center of the circle is O. I'm going to mark the vertices. So, let's say vertices are A1, A2, A3, and so on till A4. And if you continue this, the last one will be A of n here. Now, if you join the moment you join the vertices, the polygon will appear here like this, something like this, which is inscribed in the circle of radius r something like this now our main objective will be calculating this length if i get this length in the terms of n somehow if i get this in the terms of n and then i can calculate using this condition i can calculate then and that is our objective because if n vertices are there n sides will be there so our objective here is a1 a2 so let's do one thing in order to calculate a1 a2 i'm going to join center with a1 and center with a2 now the total angle here the total angle i think the total angle here is total angle is 360 if you divide into n parts the angle will be 2 pi by n now let's do one thing here let's drop a perpendicular from center now if i drop this perpendicular it will be a perpendicular bisector reason being these two triangles will be congruent now if this if i talk about this individual angle the individual angle is pi by n and this angle will be also pi by n now, if you take this triangle separately here, connected with O, A1, and similarly A2, if you drop a perpendicular, and this side is pi by n, this angle is pi by n, and this angle is also pi by n. Given that radius is capital R and capital R, I can easily calculate A1, A2 here. So, the value of A1, A2 will be clearly visible. The vertical projection is r sin pi by n and one more vertical projection is also r sin pi by n in both the triangles so the value is 2 r sin pi by n now next objective is a1 a3 let's do one thing let's connect the center with a3 now the total angle here this total angle is 4 pi by as you can see 4 pi by n because 2 pi by n plus 2 pi by n will be 4 pi by n now let's join a1 a3 so if i join a1 a3 it will be something like this i want to calculate this length in order to calculate this length we'll do one thing we'll drop a perpendicular from center now uh, if i want to determine the angle the individual angle will be of these two triangles will be 2 pi by n and similarly 2 pi by n because these two triangles will be congruent so this angle is let me erase this 2 pi by n and this angle will be 2 pi by n and this is r again if you take the horizontal vertical projection this will be r sine 2 pi by n and the other length will be also r sine 2 pi by n now if you calculate a1 a1 a3 here similarly you can draw one more triangle and i can show you easily so 2 r sine i can easily write 2 pi by n now if we generalize this let's say for a1 a4 the angle will go till 6 pi by n and half of that will be 2 r sine 3 pi by n and similarly i can summarize this till a1 a of n because in the equation a1 an is involved so i'm going to generalize this this will be 2 r sine check here it's coming a2 for 2 it is coming the angle is 1 here you can check easily for 3 it's coming 2 for 4 it's coming 3 then for n it will be n minus 1 into pi by n so now we got all the lengths now i'm going to substitute this in the equation and get the value of n now i'm going to plug all the values of the lengths which we have calculated in the previous slide in the equation so here we'll get 4 r square multiplied by the sine square series so sine square pi by n plus sine square 2 pi by n plus so on till the last term sine square n minus 1 pi by n this is equal to 14 r square now i think r square and r square will cancel out here and then 4 and 14 will cancel out remaining is 2 here 
and remaining series is sin square. Now this is very important special part and you can take this as a note. As in, in general, we know summation of sine series formula and summation of cos series formula. But this does, this series is varying in sine square. So, we'll do one thing. In order to calculate this, we'll convert this into cos series. So, sine square theta, I can write this as, I can write this as 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2. And the whole series will be converted as cos series. And we know the formula of cos series. So, I'm going to write this as 1 minus cos of 2 pi by n divided by 2. Plus the next term will be 1 minus cos of 4 pi by n divided by 2. And every angle will be multiplied by 2. Similar like this, the n term will be 1 minus cos of 2 times of n minus 1 pi by n divided by 2. And this will be equal to 7 here. Now, 2, 2, 2 and all 2 will cancel out here. Now I'll keep on adding 1, 1. So here total n minus 1 terms are here because we are starting with 2 and ending with a of n. So I think n minus 1 terms are here. So if you add 1, 1, 1, n minus 1 times, you'll get n minus 1. Minus times, you'll get this as cos series. So cos of here, you'll get 2 pi by n plus cos of 4 pi by n and so on till cos of 2 times of n minus 1 multiplied by pi by n. This will be equal to 7. And now I'm going to apply cos series formula here in the next page. Now I'm going to apply the cos summation series formula here. So n minus 1 as it is here minus sin of, usually I apply the formula like this, sin of number of terms into common difference divided by 2. So I think we'll get this multiplied by cos of first angle plus last angle divided by 2. So we'll get 2 pi plus n minus 2 times n minus 1 pi whole divided by n and divide by 2 and divide by sine of common difference divide by 2 so that is 2 pi by n and divide by 2 here this is equal to 7 now n minus 1 as it is here now i need to do some cancellation here plus 2 pi and minus 2 pi will cancel out here 2n and 2n will cancel out leaving you with cos of pi here multiplied by here 2 and 2 will cancel out. I can write this as sine of. If you divide by n, you will get this as pi minus pi by n here. And whole divided by, I think we can write this as sine of pi by n. Now, if you notice one more thing here, this is sine of theta here and this is sine of pi minus theta. So if you consider this as theta, this angle is theta, then this is pi minus theta here. And sine of supplementary angles are equal. So these two will cancel out and it is given as 7. Now, here we got n minus 1. And then remaining is cos of pi. Cos of pi is minus 1. So plus 1 is equal to 7 is given. Now the value of n will be equal to 7. So the number of sides of the polygon is 7. This will be our final answer. And that will be all.